This is 4 Minutes 4, Netflix's The Umbrella Academy. Ready? Adapted from the 2007 comic book series by my favorite human in the world, Gerard Way, Umbrella Academy focuses on a dysfunctional family of superheroes who need to stop the apocalypse in eight days. It's a story surrounded by mystery and questions, like how did 43 women simultaneously and randomly give birth? What causes the end of the world? What happened to Ben, aka number six? Some of these get answered, others left for season two, but I'm not really here to talk about all that. I'm here to give a quick dive into everything about this show. First, I want to talk about the characters, since they're the cornerstone of the entire show. And they're conveniently numbered, so I'll cover them in that order. Luther is a complete idiot. Power-wise, he's whatever, he has a few moments of sympathy, but overall he's a complete stereotype of the Boy Scout goody two-shoes hero who always thinks he's right. I'm sure that was an intentional commentary on that type of hero, but it doesn't make me like him anymore. Number two is basically the Batman to Luther Superman, Diego. He's an edgelord who loves to break the rules and look like Dean Winchester. Overall, he's more likable than Luther, mostly because of how much he cares for robots mom, but not by much. Allison is next, and finally, it's a character I actually like. At first I thought she was kind of boring, but once the show dives deeper into how she's abused her powers, she's pretty interesting. I'm curious to see what happens going forward considering what she goes through later in the season. Then we have Klaus, my favorite character by a landslide. He's so good. I love his powers and how it's presented in the show, I love how much he cares about his family, and watching him deal with his struggles made him one of the only really sympathetic characters. Number 5 is also one of my favorites, mainly because Aiden Gallagher is crazy good. He channels this kind of noir detective Humphrey Bogart thing that totally works, and he absolutely nails it. Next, sort of, is Ben, who we basically only see interacting with Klaus due to, well, being dead. I like his kind of backseat view of the family and how they keep screwing up, and I hope he plays more of a role in the future. Finally is Vanya, played perfectly and adorably by Ellen Page. She's another extremely sympathetic character who just can't catch a break for the entire season. As I said before, the plot is full of secrets and very interesting lore that sometimes gets off track in favor of character development. For me, the show really picked up at episode 5, because the plot finally forced its way into focus. I felt that most of it was fairly predictable, and the real intrigue came from the further world building, like the commission. I loved watching the characters that actually grew as people, and watching questions slowly get answered even as new ones came up. Beyond the story itself, basically everything else is super solid too. The soundtrack is absolutely killer. Gerard's two covers are great and the rest of the soundtrack is used perfectly, especially with jams like Istanbul. The actual look of the show from the cinematography to the editing also fits the story and feel perfectly. Some really fun shots, love how the title is shown in every episode, and cool uses of color shifts here and there. My only real negatives revolve around some weirdness in the world and some of the writing. Sometimes the amount of insanity the main characters get away with in the presence of everyday normal people is pretty ridiculous. I'm not sure if it's intentional or done for comedic effect or not, but still, it stuck out to me a decent number of times throughout the show. My biggest problem was some of the tropes and cliches the show fell into. There's definitely a bunch of intentional stereotypes to poke fun at overused types of heroes. However, other times, whether it be in the plot, the characters' actions, or the writing, I was predicting everything that was happening. It didn't hurt the overall feel of the show, since there's a tinge of over-the-top crazy to it all, but it did betray the complete uniqueness of the rest of the material. All things considered though, I enjoyed Umbrella Academy so much and highly recommended. 8.5 out of 10, and done. Look around.